Good morning, Sauk Prairie Area Chamber members. I'm Bianca Richards, the Tourism Promotions Director with the Chamber. We're trying a little bit of a different format this week, sending out video messages. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to sort through those emails, I know, and uh, we just want to make sure that we're getting our information out in the best way possible. First, I want to address the Trick or Treat on Water Street event that's coming up quickly on next Friday, October 28th. That will be from 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. We've been in touch with most of you about uh, whether you're participating in Pumpkin Junction in the Sauk City Historic Park or trick-or-treating right at your location. If you have any other questions, please call the Chamber. Moving right along to our holiday opportunities, we are pleased to bring you a great event on Friday, November 18th, the Holiday Light Parade and Tree Lighting event. If you are looking for a great fundraiser for your group, the best parade float will win $500, the second place float will win $100, and the third place float will win $50. We're excited about that light parade, and if you're interested in joining or entering a parade unit, please contact the Chamber. Along with that, we'll finish up with a tree lighting event at 7 p.m. at the Sauk City Historic Park. We'll have the Sauk Prairie Youth Choir, the Center Stage Dance Academy, and fireworks to go off with the tree lighting. We're really looking forward to this event, so please spread the word and the excitement, and we look forward to Friday, November 18th. In an effort to make the downtown look great, we are also offering a window competition to businesses and organizations. We'll have two categories, small business or organization, which is 1 to 20 people, or a large business or organization, 20 or more. The winner in each category will receive six months of free advertising in our monthly newsletter. We encourage you to get creative with this one and just uh, strive to make the downtown look good. If you don't have a location that lends itself to window decorating, please contact the Chamber if you're interested because I can look around and see if we can provide you with a space somewhere. The judges will be uh, looking at the following criteria, most lights, most creative, most community oriented, and overall theme. Along with the window decorating, if you are interested in buying your holiday greenery from someone local, and we do encourage you to shop local, Prairie Flowers and Gifts is offering great wholesale prices this year. So I, have, I will send out the prices for garlands and wreaths and uh, take a look at that. Ruth from Prairie Flowers and Gifts would be the one to contact by November 4th if you are interested. One of the things I'm most excited about this holiday season is a holiday punch card. We are encouraging consumers to spend $10 at 10 local retailers by December 10th, and then they'll be entered into a drawing for $500 worth of chamber dollars. This is a great opportunity for our retailers to get involved. Uh, what I will need from you is if you are interested retailers, please let me know and I will list you on the back of the punch card so that consumers will know where they can go to do this. All that we ask of you is once a consumer presents their punch card that you punch it with anything you have handy, we'll ask them to staple their receipt so that we make sure they're not just punching it on the side so you don't have to buy any special equipment or fancy, fancy punch holes. There is not a cost to join this program. So if you'd like to be on that retail card, please let me know. I would like to know by October 24th, as we will start to give these out at a few chamber events on October 26th, but the contest itself will officially run from November 1st to December 10th. We will draw the name of the winner on December 12th. Along with the punch card, we are also offering a Facebook promotion. For any consumer that fills out their punch card and submits that to the chamber for entry into the drawing, they can earn one additional entry by posting a picture of a retail item they've purchased locally and posting and tagging the chamber in it. We will then tag the retailer. This only applies one time per person. Additionally, we are encouraging any open houses on Saturday, November 19th, following the Holiday Light Parade and Tree Lighting event. We won't be putting any specific times, we'll just be advertising and noting on our promotional materials that there will be retailers throughout town that will be hosting open houses or holiday specials. So if you want to get creative during this time and have some popcorn or any other special promotions, feel free. This would be a great time to showcase what you have at your business. 
And the last thing that I'd like to bring up today is a new thing that I want to try. I'd like to visit one retailer a week and take a picture of a featured item. That item will be featured in both this, the Wednesday Weekly, as well as on Facebook. This is just an effort to get the word out. Um, you know, sometimes it can be hard to stop and know everything that's in your backyard, but if we can visually start serving that up and maybe see an item you didn't know was around, then we can start getting the word out. So if you have any questions about that, please give me a call. I'm just going to plug in all of our retailers and restaurants and uh, sort of visit everyone on a week-to-week -week basis and just rotate that throughout the year. Thank you so much for listening today. I hope this has been helpful. I would love any feedback you have on whether this is better than just reading a long laundry list or um, if you prefer the old Word document. So thank you very much and have a great day.